What's, What's up, up you guys? guys? Welcome back to another <laughs> What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for 100 subscribers. That is really cool of you. Thank you so much. Um, today I will be going over 25 things that I've learned over 25 years of my life. It was my birthday on January 26th, so I'm using this video as a mark and a celebration for that. And yeah, if you'd like some wisdom and knowledge, and all that cool stuff. Keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. Number one, never wait to act on an interest or a passion. Life is too short. Number two and number three are kind of similar, but number two is, breaking out of your shell is so crucial to moving on to bigger and better things. And number three is getting out of your comfort zone is really crucial for your growth. Number four, Having multiple interests is okay, especially in art. It's totally fine. Number five, making to-do lists and using calendars makes your life a whole lot easier. And especially if you put on your to-do list must do, as opposed to just listing everything out and you know not prioritizing, it makes your life a whole lot easier. And I highly recommend doing that on the daily, using your phone calendar, writing out physically on an actual paper calendar. All of that really helps to just kind of help you get your shit together. Highly recommend. Number six, accomplishing a goal is one of the greatest feelings you're ever gonna have in your life. Because once you actually work hard towards that goal and you actually see the result of achieving it, there really is, there's really no other feeling to describe it. I mean, it's, it's just amazing and very rewarding and your confidence will definitely be boosted every time you accomplish a goal. So keep going towards your goals. <laughs> Number seven, breaking down a goal is gonna make it so much easier to achieve, which goes back to number six. But breaking down a goal into chunks is the best way to manage a huge project or goal um, that you have for yourself. So that way you could manage each little chunk in its own separate time frame. Number eight, a clean space. Clean and tidy really calms the mind and brings peace. Every time. I get stressed when it's not clean. Like, I'm not OCD, but I definitely feel the stress in the back of my head. <coughs> but I definitely feel the stress in the back of my head when I know that there's like a mess or I'm gonna be encountering a mess that day. It's just when you see it, it kind of just affects your brain. So a clean space does wonders. Number nine, things are not as important as experiences. I much prefer spending money on experiences with loved ones than materialistic things. That's me personally. I'm kind of a minimalist. So that's something I've learned is treasure the experiences more than the things. And number 10 kind of relates to number nine, but keeping things that do not serve me, make me happy, um, they need to go. They need to get out of my house, uh, out of my space, because if they're not serving me, if I don't need them, if they don't make me, if they don't bring me joy, they don't need to be in my space and I could sell them or donate them, just give them to a friend. So that's something I've definitely learned is it doesn't need to be in your space and create clutter if it doesn't give you a sense of joy. Number 11, spending time with your loved ones is super important and, you know, we're on this earth for a very short amount of time, so spending time with them is just, you're never gonna regret that, you know. Number 12, suffering loss is extremely painful, but it can also be a blessing. And what I mean by that is, by realizing how short we have on this planet, how short of a life we have on this planet, um, it kind of helps you live life a little more fully. So loss is extremely heartbreaking, but also can be a blessing if you think of it in that way. And that's something I've definitely had to learn. Number 13, allowing self-expression is very important for your personal growth. <laughs> Whenever you feel the need to express yourself in some way, whether it be dance, music, drawing, singing, whatever, um, it's important to just kind of go with the flow, go 
go and, and do that thing. Work on that project, that personal project, and just allow yourself to express yourself because we live in such a structured society, I guess, that um, kind of can be limiting to creativity, but once you actually get into the zone and you listen to yourself, um, you can just let it, let it go and like be free, you know? So yeah, that's something I've definitely learned. Number 14, people's opinions don't matter. They don't, but I would be open to constructive criticism when it's needed, when it's necessary. So distinguishing the two is important, but definitely being open to constructive criticism can help you also in your personal growth. And other than that, you can just block out the noise. No one else matters. Only you matter and what you want matters. So you gotta keep that in mind all the time. Number 15, negative energy rubs off on you so fast. So keeping positive people in your life is crucial for your mental health. Number 16, thinking about tomorrow instead of today is actually pointless. We, we can't see the future. I mean, we're not, we're not gonna go transport to tomorrow, know what's gonna happen and tell your present self what you need to do. There's just no way we can't predict tomorrow. Uh, so we really need to live in the moment. And I'm still practicing this. Sometimes I do still think of the future a little too much, but it's something I've learned and can, and am still learning to kind of get over that because thinking about tomorrow is a waste of time kind of <laughs> unless you're setting goals and you know you're setting yourself a little plan that's fine but overthinking too much about what tomorrow will bring is kind of pointless so this one's kind of random <laughs> but number 17 being uh let's say in a job interview confidence is truly key you may not know what the hell you're doing in that position but <laughs> if you walk in with a confident attitude and a very like happy, uplifting, energetic sort of vibe, there's a really high chance that you'll get hired just based off of what you're presenting with your body language. So that's really important to remember. Super random, but it's definitely something I've learned. Number 18, leaving your country, even once in your life, but leaving your, your country really allows you to gain a better perspective on other people's cultures, it lets your brain get bigger, it expands your brain um, and uh, makes you open to a lot more things and ideas. So that's, that's really important. So exploring different places, even now in a pandemic, maybe exploring your own city, but definitely leaving the country is a really awesome experience that, I mean, I, I would recommend to anyone. It's a beautiful thing. So yeah, do it if you can. Number 19, I've learned about myself, especially these past couple of years, that I enjoy the process of making content and putting content out into the world rather than consuming it. I noticed that like, I never really watch Netflix. I do watch YouTube sometimes, but sometimes it's more of like helpful things that I wanna learn. Um, so yeah, I enjoy making it instead of consuming it. Fun fact. I'm not a huge uh, consumer of media that I've, from what I've noticed about myself and my habits. Yeah, I don't know. Number 20, always listen to your intuition because it's always right. Your intuition is always right. So you gotta listen to that inner voice. Listen to it and cool things might happen. Number 21, you can always change who you are. There are no rules in this life that are telling you you need to be this type of person. You've built this type of person for yourself and personality. You gotta stick to it for the rest of your life. No, you can break who you are whenever you want and change your interests. It's totally fine. So I give you permission. Number 22, learning something new every day not only helps you keep, um, keep you more interested in life, but it makes you more interesting to talk to when you actually, you know, learn about different things. Your mind is more open and you'll have more stuff to talk about. Number 23, sitting in silence for even just a few minutes every other day or so can honestly help so much with honing in on what you're actually feeling. 
So it's kind of like your soul speaks to you when there's silence, really. Like, I know it sounds really cheesy and spiritual, but seriously, like, you can look inside yourself when you're actually just quiet and you try to quiet your mind for even just a couple of minutes, you can kind of hone in on what your body's trying to tell you. So that's something really cool that I've learned, definitely. Number 24, trying things and failing at them is way better than saying what if on your deathbed and regretting that you didn't even try it. And I try to remind myself that all the time when I think I'm being embarrassing and I'm like, you know, embarrassing myself by making this YouTube video and I picture myself on my deathbed and you know what? I should have just done it. That's kind of what always motivates me to do things. So picturing yourself on your deathbed is like a very powerful tool, honestly, and I recommend it to kind of scare yourself into doing shit that you actually care about. And we've made it to number 25. So this one's really important, especially now with social media and crap. Um, you never know what someone's living situation is like behind closed doors. Therefore, you really cannot compare yourself to other people because you have no idea what they're going through. Um, everyone's lives is completely different. All of us have our own little problems that we're dealing with. So no one's life's perfect. And just remembering that and avoiding comparing yourself to others and others' growth, it really helps to just kind of chill out and remind yourself, bring yourself back to earth <laughs> and not in some fantasy world where you're constantly fighting against the other person in your head. That's definitely a good one to leave off on because I think all of us have a tendency to compare ourselves, but just remembering that is really important and it helps a lot. So yeah, that's 25 things I've learned over 25 years on this planet. And um, honestly, all of those things I hold very close to my heart. I mean, for me, they're just, they're just really important for personal growth and my mental health and all of that stuff, keeping creative, stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed my list, I hope you enjoyed my 25 things, and I hope you have a good day, and thank you for visiting my channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button, and click that like button for more content. Um, leave a comment on something that you've learned throughout your life. I really want to know what you got boiling in your brain over there. So yes, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.